Welcome back to Creatures of Scenaria, and today we are going to be leveling up another character, and I have completely blanked on his name, but it is one of the uh, creatures that you can unlock by playing, j literally just playing. You get it from time. Uh, I think this was the 10 hour one. It's like Ver, it's Ver, Verk something. We're just going to call him Verk. Um. He looks pretty cool in his final stage, so I'm quite excited to see him there. Uh, I don't think he has any special abilities. Um, that's something that we will also have to see once the time comes. He takes 40 minutes to grow up, and he is a herbivore. So we are going to have to go on the hunt for the herbs and see where that is on the map and keep up with where that's moving. Now, the first place that I do want to check for the herbs are going, honestly, probably will be over here first in the plains, um, which is right over here, just because this tends to be a popular area, I've noticed, for them to spawn, uh, at least on most servers, if not here, over on the mountain over that way, um, on the other side of Desert Oasis. Oh. Is that me or someone else? I don't really know. Oh, someone else. Hello, people. Don't mind me. Just trying to find some food. Not seeing any herbivore-type food, so I'm just going to jump down here, and we're probably going to head, I guess, what is that, south? Yeah, we can go south and head past Desert Oasis and see if there's any plants down that way. Um, oh wow. Definitely seems to be a more active server. There's definitely a lot of big guys here. This character, or this creature, doesn't really get all too big. He, he definitely gets sizable, but not too big. Um, right now he looks very thin. He'll, he'll gain a little more weight, but he only he, he mostly uh gains horns. That's pretty much it. Hey look, there's a Jeff. Hey Jeff. Bye Jeff. See you later, Jeff. We're just trying to find food. Out of stamina. It's not looking like the herbs are over here either. Um so we're really going to have to run around and find some. We're already pretty much half health. Not half health. Uh, half hunger. So that's a little bit of pressure. we got to make sure we find out where this food is. So we can just chill out in that general area. Or at least just know where to run back to when we get hungry. Because you don't have to uh, stay topped off. You can You can let yourself drain down until... You're about to starve before you eat again. That's what I normally do. I, I'm just here to get shrooms. These down here. That's all I want. I want more creatures. The bigger the better, too. I like the... The really large and, like... Just absurd creatures that are just huge. It, and do, for what reason? We don't know, but I like it, so... That's all that matters. Um, I'm not seeing any plants here either, which is not nice. Could be using my smell, that would help. There's someone up there. It's a predator. Seikari. Alright. Well, let's hope we can find some food here soon. We're, uh, getting close to aging up for the first time. It's not too, too far away. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep walking around. Hopefully find food, because, my god, see, this is what I was saying in the last video. Playing an herbivore is harder, because you don't know where the berries are. You don't know where the food is. You have to run around and try and find it. Sometimes you'll get lucky, and it'll spawn right where you spawn, or it'll, like, spawn you in on top of them. But doesn't look like I'm getting any luck finding this food so far. Uh, 
No. Hello, people. Ah, uh, well, he doesn't seem too friendly, so I'm gonna stay up here. And let them do their own thing, because I don't want none of it. He's just being chased, being hunted. Oh, don't see me up here. Don't lead him up here. Okay. Yeah, that's alright. You go chase after him. Yeah. Beautiful. Wonderful. We're just gonna go this way. Away from them. Because that dude seems very unhappy. And there's herbs at the volcano. Of course there is. I have no clue how to get down there, though. Is it a... Do I have to swim into it? I mean... I feel like that might make some sense. No? Okay. You don't swim into it. That's for sure. This guy actually swims pretty well. Um... Well, crap. I know where the herbs are now. We're about to die. I just have to figure out how to get into this place. Oh. He's back. Seems like he got a little hurt. Um, still no clue how to get into this volcano. Um, currently just walking along the back side of it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the entrance to this place. I have searched uh, around the volcano before, like on a flyer, trying to find an entrance to it because so many people would say if you can't find herbs always check the volcano and I mean like we saw just a little bit ago when I was using my smell that you could smell the herbs that were down there um I really feel like it's not through here I would at least hope not because that just wouldn't make much sense to me but I have no clue where the entrance is to this place. And this is honestly kind of frustrating. Because I'm literally starving right now. And have no way of entrance or of entry to this. What is what are the spikes? There's just no way in. Must be missing something. We aged up. Alright. Um, I really hope, oh, 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 oh my god, look at all the food, oh wow, holy crap, give me the food, we are so close to dying, look at this place, holy crap, nice, <laughs> so much, f there's so much food in this cave, this is kind of crazy, oh, hold on. I thought that's what that was. I saw glowing. Get me up. What is that? It's a mutation one. I don't have that gotcha vending machine for the mutations. It won't let me use them. I would love to get a mutated uh, anything, really. I, I just want a mutated creature, but no. It won't let me open it. It's rather aggravating. Now, what's up here? I've never been in here. I've literally never been able to find the entrance. Just turns out it's like over here. On the, yeah, by the ocean. Here's with the drinking water. All right. Nice, fresh, steaming, hot water. We love it. Gotta love boiling water. Look at this place. This definitely would be a good place to have like a... Uh, a hangout with. Okay, now hold on. I haven't actually gotten a look at our, our ourself and our aged version. So I want to go out here in the light and just look at our look at our dude. I mean, look at those horns. Quite majestic, aren't they? Not too bad. Uh, he does eventually get bioluminescence uh, on his neck in his next growth like stage so that that should be pretty cool um do believe his horns get a little longer too if i'm not mistaken and obviously he gets bigger but we're just gonna run around until now that we know where the herbs are and the volcano we're just gonna run around in this area and see if there's 
anything else interesting going on. I know we saw those people fighting on the other side of the volcano, but I don't necessarily want to go over there. I see a giant body up there. Someone must have died. I wonder if it was one of those two. I know that big green dude was bleeding out pretty bad last I saw him. Some more food down there. All for carnivores, obviously. I'm not seeing anything too interesting. But there are players nearby. There's someone over there. Um, this guy right there, he's not a predator. Let's go check him out. Hey, buddy. Ooh. We're loud. I haven't actually seen... That's our sit. Let's see. What's our show off type deal? <laughs> All right, that was, that's something, I guess. That's interesting. Um, and our our lay down little like belly wiggle. Yeah, I'll just do a little belly wiggle. That's cute. Anything else? That's our cower. Very. Very scared. I know I would look it down at that and think that that thing is terrified. What's this other creature? It's not a predator. Just like the last one. I like how the swamp's filled with non-predators. What in the world? Wow. Holy crap. Alright. Can I get out? Thank you. Look at him. He's just lounging under the waterfall. How nice. How quaint. Very, uh, very cozy. I feel like that would be a horrible wake-up call. How my creature sounds, I'm sorry, but I just feel like it would... It's a little terrifying. I mean, if you heard that while you were sleeping, I'm pretty sure you'd wake up real quick freaking the hell out. Um, I don't know if there's anyone else in this area. I just kind of want to, I, I like looking at all the creatures that other people are playing. Because they always look different. I like whenever people customize their creatures and make them look not like how it normally does. Oh, there's a Lux, uh, a Luxus on here. I haven't really seen any, aside from the one that I have. Other than that, I haven't seen one. Let's see. We're gonna try and swim over here. We're gonna head over to Desert Oasis. It's a bit risky by quite a... It, it's gonna be a big risk. We'll just say that. Leave it at that. Um, but everyone should be there to party. So let's, let's hope we don't die. We're not honestly too fast, which kinda sucks. That really sucks. I like quick and speedy creatures. It, it's more fun that way. Being able to zoom through the forest and outrun your foe. This character, I don't really know if we're going to be able to outrun anyone. Except for maybe, maybe a Lux. Just due to his size. Luxes aren't that quick at uh, Elder rank. I want to see this Lux. That's the goal. Try and find the Lux without dying. Two giant birds and anything else that is giant or carnivorous. Don't see them yet. See some other people. No Lux. I'm trying to see... Okay, someone killed the Lux. We're not going to see the Lux. That sucks. I wanted to see someone else's Lux. We're just going to... We, we're going to head back to the volcano and get some food. Because, uh... Well, we're already at 17 and we have a, a decent distance to walk. So, it'll be pretty empty by the time we actually get to the volcano. And we probably should age up, honestly, on the way to um, 
getting food. So that'll be nice, I think. I don't think we'll really be that quick. We'll just be bigger. It's not that much nicer to me, honestly. I wish it would improve our speed. That would be extremely helpful. Um, but yeah, we're just going to head back to the volcano. And I'll see you guys there. Oh, look at that. We grew up. Now we have our bioluminescence on our neck and our little uh, knee scruff. We are quite a decent bit larger now. Let's see. That just honestly is such an awkward animation. I don't know if I like that. For such a creature that looks so pretty and elegant. Especially at night, like this dude. Yeah, the stars on his neck. I like it. I like it a lot. But we are now adult stage. We can nest. So I think that's what we're going to do in this video. Since I do own this creature, I can nest. And we're going to try and get a baby hatched out. And see the difference between us now and what we used to look like. I wanted to do that with my Lux. But... Sadly, I do not own a Lux, and that was a nested creature, so I couldn't make a nest, which really does suck, but hopefully in someday, I don't know if it's possible at all anymore, but maybe I could get a Lux and have a child in comparison, standing right next to each other. Alright, here's the entrance. Now, someone earlier did say that they found where all the herbs were, so I don't know if there's going to be anyone back here or not. Doesn't look like there is. No. Uh, there is a player, yeah, right up there. It's a secure. Just going to make myself known. I don't think we have to worry about anything. We're just going to run up here to where the water is, get some water, and plop down a nest. We're going to do the nest right here. Alright, so now we have our nest. See, it's incubating 20% out of 100, obviously. So once that hits 100, we will be able to then have our first child, hopefully, as long as someone accepts the invitation. We'll see how that goes, so, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to chill out here, eat and drink, and get this up to 100 so we can have the baby. And I'll see you guys then. So yeah, we'll be right back. I think we found a little buddy. We're getting a little closer to being an elder. We have also gained 20% on the eggs, so that's getting a little closer too. We do have a little... We have a few cave buddies. This looks like a giant praying mantis, honestly. That's pretty cool. Uh, just a little fluffy. Come down here, grab a little snack. Run back up to our nests. And just chill out. We're just waiting until we hit Elder. I And have our child. That's pretty much it. Oh, we're at 60% now. We're getting closer. Once we get it to 100, it's as simple as inviting a whole bunch of people to see if they'll uh, accept the the creature, and they'll pop out as out of the nest as our little offspring. We'll have a child. It'll be wonderful. Is he friendly? All right, he's not a predator. I don't have to worry about it. Still at 60. Need some water. Just give this big boy some some liquid. Yeah, there we go. Wonderful. Just 
gonna be hard to fly. We are indeed getting close to Elder. Once, honestly, for most of my creatures, once I hit Elder, that's when I get to the point where if the creature has a good ability, like Luxus, uh, Lux can go invisible, and his hunger and water don't really drain that fast. So I just, whenever I want to just, you know, like, gain some shrooms, I'll just go invisible, and every once in a while step out of invisibility to eat and drink, and then just stay invisible, stay on for a while. I think my Lux has, like, over two... I don't want to say 200 hours. Um, I honestly don't know how much he has time-wise on, like, actually played while I was on that character. I can't really say that because I don't know that number off the top of my head. I'd have to look at him in the, uh, the main menu. But yeah, we're at 80% for our egg. We are getting so close to having a hatching out a a little us, a little verk or vec or whatever I am. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna chill out up until that point. Most of the berries are gone. A lot of herbivores came in and just kind of ate it all. So there's that. We don't have all too much food. This was a good place for me and my child at first, but now it's a, it's a little barren, just a, a tiny bit. Oh, there we go. I've literally just been walking in circles, waiting for that thing. All right, so now we're just going to go bam, 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 send invites to everyone, and hopefully someone accepts it. And we get a little us, so I'm going to just stop right there, sit down, and look, and see if anyone comes in or not. People are, oh, it's him, I'll invite him, or I'll join the pack, why not, sure, okay. Still no one? Jeez. Come on, people, someone accept it, I just want a child. I want to see, I want to see a mini-me. Oh, oh! I killed him. Okay, well, that was a... Uh, oops. Wow. <laughs> oops. I didn't mean to do that. Crap. That's horrible. Well, uh... That kind of sucks. But at least we, we grew up, right? I mean, we're almost elder. We're getting close. <laughs> I'm not waiting again for another egg. That really sucks. I didn't mean to kill that dude. I got this dude back. There's no more herbs in here. All of the herbs have since disappeared. It's kind of ridiculous. It's really aggravating too. So that means we have to migrate. I like the volcano. Volcano is nice. We're just gonna leave home, I guess. Abandon the nest because I murdered my own child the second it was born. Oh, I swear. There's a uh, little flyer right here. What you doing, buddy? Don't worry. I'm an herbivore, I can't eat ya. As shocking as that may seem due to my appearance, but I can't. You'd think I'd be a carnivore. I honestly expected this dude to be a carnivore. When I first saw him, I wasn't really thinking, you know, herbivore. Plant eater? Nah, this dude looks a little too ferocious. But then again, it also looks majestic and beautiful and peaceful and serene. So, I don't know. Maybe I just thought wrong. There it is. Alright. Bam. We're huge. Definitely isn't going to increase... Oh. No. Volcano? Volcano not happy. Maybe? I don't know what that was about. Alright. I'm just going to go with it. I thought the volcano was uh, erupting. Either way. 
that is going to be the end of today's video. I'm sorry it was so short. Uh, it wasn't short. I take that back. It was at least 40 minutes, because that's this dude's length. Um, either way, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we will... I'm going to end up saving up some shrooms so we can do a big gotcha opening uh, and go from there. So, yeah, expect that for the next Creatures of Scenario video. We will do just a, a really... We'll, we'll have a, more shrooms and we'll just open up a whole bunch of caches. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I will be uploading every day. Currently, I'm only just playing three games. Uh, Creatures of Scenario, Oblivion, and yesterday I just started playing World Zero, which is a MMO for Roblox. And honestly, I think it's pretty cool. You should definitely go check it out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Remember, shine bright, neon bright.